Hi everyone. I'm asking my friend Casey here to film me because I'm going to try to something new today is is uh, shooting a bit of video and putting on our website. So it's my pleasure to be here, um, and I'd like to congratulate uh, Push for its 10th anniversary. Um, we funded Push a number of times, and it's great to see the festival just blossom. So that's it's exciting. Uh, so my name is Clint Schreier. I run the InterArts office at Canada Council, and um, I was here uh, a few months ago for the beginning of a consultation we did uh, nationally. It started here on May 15th, and I wanted to give you a quick uh, update on where we're at with the consultation, some of the issues that um, we, we heard during the consultation, and some of the next steps. And if you'd like to speak with me after, I'm happy to, to, to do that. So as you might have heard, the Canon Council launched uh, a process to uh, review all of the operating grants at, at the Council. Not necessarily to change them completely, but to, to take a fresh look at what is an operating grant today and, and what, where, where, how do they fit, how are they functioning, how might they change. So the InterArts Office participated in that. And so when we went on the road, we, we published uh, some information and then we asked uh, questions to the arts community and we got lots of information back. We, we met with artists in all regions of the country we um, did an online survey, an online consultation. And at the end of that, um, we put it all together in a report that's on our website called What We Heard. And there's 221 ideas that came out from the consultations. Um, some of them supporting what we're already doing, others proposing, um, proposing very innovative um, approaches to funding and lots of uh, uh, suggestions on how to improve assessment. And, and interestingly, uh, every region had uh, commonalities across the country and also very specific uh, issues that were to that, that region. So if you look at what we heard report, it, it basically says that there are five themes that came across. Uh, the first theme is the theme of access, the notion of access, how do you access grants, how do you access even the system, how do you understand the language that the council use in its application forms. There's lots of, of uh, feedback about that. Uh, the second theme was uh, assessment. Um, how does the InterArts office uh, choose uh, peers? How do we deal with representation with such a diverse group of applicants? Um, that kind of, those kinds of issues were raised. The third issue or topic was the issue, the topic of boundaries, artistic boundaries, how art forms are changing. A festival like, like here in Push, I was reading this morning in the, in the paper, doesn't uh, define things as dance or theater. It, it's performing arts. And, and that, we're seeing that internationally, uh, that there's a, a lot more movement between art forms. And so how, how does an art council, how do institutions adapt to where artists are going and, and shifting boundaries, essentially, of art practices? The fourth is the notion of operating grants. Uh, how, do, how do uh, operating grants function? Uh, what's the relationship between a short-term grant and a long-term grant? Um, what's the balance points be between uh, those the sort of shorter-term and longer-term relationships that the council has with the arts community? And the last topic is a very broad one that we call sharing. Sharing of knowledge. We're trying to do that today through uh, this video. We're trying to also uh, use our website more effectively. But also, the one thing that came up a lot was the sharing of infrastructure. Uh, some companies have, have buildings, they have uh, resources. How, how can artists better access the existing infrastructures in, in the country from coast to coast to coast? So, those are the five themes, and we're right in the process now of of uh, identifying what's working and what we'll keep and, and making some uh, important changes to the program that we will, uh, and I'm talking mostly about the operating or uh, the or grants for organizations program that we will announce in the spring and there will be uh, guidelines available in the summer and the deadline will be November 15th. Um, and so we're, we're, we wanted to thank the community for its uh, input and uh, we'd like it to be an ongoing discussion. One of the reasons I came here to push is to hear uh, debates like what will happen this afternoon about curation and, and new trends and, and hear from the artists and, and that's part of what the council and I think all the arts councils try to do is to stay in touch with the artistic community, have that constant feedback loop through peer assessment uh, committees and consultations and being present at festivals and so on. Alors, merci beaucoup, thank you very much, and I'll pass it on to Casey, and thank you for filming me. <laughs>